Have you ever found yourself in a season of life that's just horrible? You've experienced some tragedy or disappointment that has stolen all of your joy and you're wondering if this is it. Is this all life has to offer? And you're sad. Now, have you ever been in this place or if you're in this place right now, believe me, I understand how you feel because I've been where you are, which is why I need you to stay tuned because I've got something to share with you that will encourage your soul. Hey there, extraordinary child of God. I'm Simona, and this is the place where I help you transition from where you are to where God wants you to be. And if you're looking for a daily dose of inspiration, go check me out on Instagram. Yes, I'm there. And my handle is at Simona Watts. So today I need to tell you about a woman who found herself in a terrible season of life. This was a young woman who, like many young women of her time, dreamed of the day when she would meet her knight in shining armor the man who would come and sweep her off her feet so that she could live happily ever after. So one day out the blue, she meets a young man who instantly makes her heart skip a beat. You know the type, the tall, dark, and handsome with the Colgate smile type. And you know, the two begin to talk and instantly connect. This is the one, this is the man of her dream, she thought. But there was just one problem. He was of a different nationality. As a matter of fact, their people had been enemies for years. And though the two are deeply in love, they aren't really sure how their parents are going to respond. But as fate would have it, their parents allowed their union and the two were married. Now this young woman was so happy. She was married to the man that she loved and they were going to build a future together. But then the unthinkable happens. The love of her life dies and her young heart is shattered into pieces. Instead of being the married woman with children she had always dreamed of being, her dreams were shattered as she accepted her new reality. The reality that she was now a widow without any children. Now, this was an extremely difficult chapter in her life's journey, one filled with gut-wrenching pain and tears. But this is only one chapter. Though she may not have realized it at the time, there were many more chapters that were left to be written in the story of her life. Chapters that were much greater than the chapter she was currently experiencing. So as time went on, she resolved that she would find peace in spending the rest of her life living with her mother-in-law, who just so happened to be a widow as well. She loved her and she figured the two would make the best out of the life that they had left to live. And as the story is told, they packed up their stuff and they moved to the land of her mother-in-law's people. Now this is a completely foreign nation to the young woman, but she was content as long as she was with her mother-in-law. And while she's settling into her new home, she notices that there are many eligible bachelors in this new land and her heart cringes as she thinks about the love she once had. None of these men can hold a candle to her love and no one can repair the brokenness of her heart. But what she doesn't realize is that God specializes in new chapters. He specializes in writing books in which each chapter gets better and better and better. And what she doesn't realize is that he's in the process of writing a chapter in her life that is about to blow her mind. Because she's about to come in contact with a man who's about to turn her world upside down in a good way. Now the man is a distinguished older gentleman, a rich and well-known businessman in the area who is known for his good character and fair practices. He's kind, and most importantly, he's the one who God has chosen to be her next husband. And so the Bible tells us that this chapter in Ruth's life is a very good one because God orchestrated a marriage that would result in Ruth and Naomi being taken care of for the rest of their lives. And more importantly, Ruth was about to have some children some grandchildren, some great-grandchildren, some great-great-grandchildren, some great-great-great... You get what I'm saying? She's about to have some descendants that are going to play some significant roles in history. We'll start off with her great-grandson, King David, and then her great-great-grandson, King Solomon. And then we'll go down history to the line of Joseph, the man designated to be the earthly father of the King of Kings, Jesus Christ himself. God was using this chapter in Ruth's life to set her up to be the mother of kings. And what you need to know is that the chapter in life you're experiencing right now doesn't define the entirety of your story. It's just one chapter. There are more chapters to be written and God has a way of working all of the chapters in your life together for your good. Yes, it was painful for Ruth to endure the premature death of her husband, but that was just one chapter. No matter what you're going through right now, you have to remember that God's still writing chapters in your book and if you let them, the next chapters will be your best chapters. 
So to find out more about Ruth's story, you can read all about it in the book of Ruth in the Bible. Now, if you're struggling with the pains of life and you need help trusting God, I encourage you to check out this video right here. And be sure to join me next week, Thursday at 2 p.m. for our next episode. God bless and have an amazing rest of your week, you extraordinary child of God.